I just want to get this over with so I don't have to look at your lying face ever again. You're no saint either, and you're not the only one with a schedule to keep. Schedule? My schedule's pretty easy. It's watching you get your crap and get the hell out of my apartment, because I'm not having you here anymore. You can kick me out over this. Uh, I sure as hell can. And if you have a problem with that, you can talk it over with your Craigslist moderator. I guess. Finally. It brings me much joy to be able to help resolve your argument. There should be peace between friends. About time you got here. Now, how did this all start? Well, it started Josh with is overreacting and lying. He's tearing up our friendship over nothing. Now, Edward, it is Josh's turn to speak. After he's finished, you can tell your side. It all started when Edward moved in. He tore her away from me. I see. I mean, I feel violated. How can I trust someone like that? Thank you for sharing. Now, how do you feel? <sighs> Josh is lying. I never did anything wrong. I think we all just take a deep breath. See, isn't that better? Now, what caused this between you two? It started when I come home to our apartment and find her in bed with him. I mean, how can I trust someone like that? He basically betrayed me. Sophie doesn't belong to you. She makes her own decisions, and if she picks me over you, that's not my fault. Now, I, I see there's so many emotions just in the air right now. Let's talk about Sophie. What's Sophie been doing? What's Sophie been doing? She's been sneaking out of my bed at night just to get in his. Hey, I don't make her. She does that on her own. And you let her. Don't you think you could have at least told me first? And I mean, I've been seeing him seduce her with back rubs and treats. I was being nice. How was I supposed to know I would wake up and she'd be there? Don't you care about what she thinks? I do. It's just, I didn't think you'd tear her away from me. Yeah, she's amazing. But I didn't mean to take her away from you. But she likes me, and I like her. And what she chooses to do is not our choice. That's hers. I know I love her so much, but I just can't stand to see her leave me. She would never leave you. She loves you too much. And I'm sorry I got in the way of that, but I can't help what I feel about her. And she can't do the same. You know what? Let's just go home and talk about it with Sophie. And I'll let you stay. But on the condition that you talk about it, anything that you guys do. I guess that's fair. I'm just glad we could talk this out. You see, you guys discovered a new harmony, and I'm so glad I was here to be able to experience that with you two. Yeah, whatever. Well, at least I have my friend back. Likewise. By the way, who is Sophie? Thank you, Brady.